Hey you guys, um, recently I've been really inspired by like German style hamster cages and toys and things and I decided that I wanted to actually try and make some of my own and actually just the other day I was on Instagram and I saw this post in my explore page of a house that looked kind of similar, it was really blurry but just that little blurry picture inspired me to make this for you guys today. Um, Yeah, I just think it's super cool and cute um, for any rodent really that can fit inside of it. And you can make it any size you want. So even if you want to make it massive for like a bunny or a guinea pig, you can, which is a good thing. Yeah, I just think it would look really, really nice inside of like a natural themed cage or really any cage theme. It just depends on how you paint it. But um, yeah, that's all I want to say for now. It's extremely easy to make and let's just get right into the video. Okay guys, so the materials needed will be popsicle sticks, hot glue, or Elmer's glue if you wrote it choose a lot, paint, which actually again, if you wrote it choose a lot, I would use a pet safe dye that I have a video for on my channel, but I use the water based acrylic because mine do not. Also you're going to want sturdy cardboard, scissors, and a paintbrush. I forgot, but this is actually what my template looks like. It's just a very simple shape that you guys can replicate and use this. This is the only template that you're going to need to make this. Okay guys, so the first thing I did was I mixed this light blue color from, again, my water-based acrylic paints. And I just used this dark blue color and white. Okay, so next, all I did was paint my popsicle sticks. Only one side of them, because only one side is going to show. And again, I painted about 36, 38. Okay guys, so now using that template I showed you guys, I'm just going to be tracing it twice on my sturdy cardboard. And um, yeah, make sure you don't flip it in between the two patterns that you're going to trace and make sure you only draw the circle on one of the two. Now this pattern can be kind of hard to cut out, especially with scissors, but when you get to the hole and even the top part that's really curvy, it really helped me out and made it a lot easier just to use an X-Acto knife with a piece of cardboard under just to slice out the last two shapes. Okay guys, so now finally for the fun part, <laughs> um, all we're going to do is paint both sides of the two patterns that we just cut out. Once dried our two pieces, we're going to start gluing the popsicle sticks on them. So what I did was I started at the bottom of both of them and all I did was stick the popsicle stick on it as you can see here with about I want to say quarter of an inch to half inch hanging off and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side.
now that we have our house intact, we're just gonna go now and paint the little rigidy popsicle stick parts that are left out exposed. And finally, just go back and touch up any little areas that we may have missed in the beginning. One last thing that's optional is creating a little border at the bottom with just some more cut and painted popsicle sticks. This just gives it a little finished touch and hides any imperfections from the cut cardboard previously. And that is it guys. I really really like it if you guys would make these and also I'm adding this new thing where now if you guys make any of my DIYs or anything that I make on my channel and you guys send it to me either through my email or like Instagram or whatever. I will post it in my next video as soon as I get it. So yeah, that's just something new that I'm doing. Um, I hope you guys really, really like this idea and that you guys will try this out. Um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one.